Hi folks, Robin here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you this Lanshan Pro 1 and see if it's any good for UK well camping. So let's get stuck right in. First things first, let's weigh the Lanshan Pro 1 with my luggage scales. This includes the tent pegs that comes with the Lanshan, plus I've actually seen sealed it as well. That has registered 860 grams. Let's get this bad boy pitched up now. Right, so the Lanshan Pro 1 comes with nine of these aluminium sort of groundhog style tent pegs that are six inches long. Right, so we'll just find the door, which is at the front there. I want that. Excellent. Now, you can use your trekking pole and measure 125 centimetres this way, but I just tend to roughly peg it in just to get it started. Make sure your guy lines are pulled out as well. So that's it pitched out in the four corners. What I'm going to do now is set my trekking pole to 125 centimetres and put the top end at the apex of the roof. And then there's a little loop here on the ground sheet. This just goes around the trekking pole and then roughly just plop that into place and then there's a loop here and you just want to peg that out like so. Once you've got the front pegged I'd go around and do the back next. <clears throat> trying just to keep that straight and aligned as much as possible. So there's a little hook system here and you just want to hook on one of the front doors the one that you're not going to be using. It's a little bit fiddly this actually. There we go. Right. So it looks a little bit loose at the moment. This is where I would just go around the tent tighten things up. Maybe re-peg it if needs be. And once you go around, you'll see that the tent is just starting to take shape now. And then I can tighten this a little bit as well. I'm quite happy with that. What you need to remember is the ground sheet also has little guy lines that just fit over the tent peg as well. We can do these at the same time, but I just to get everything sorted out first and then don't worry about that afterwards. So that's the ground sheet all pegged out as well. With the Lanshan Pro 1 you're also given three additional guy lines and I'd recommend sticking these on. They're good in windy conditions just to give the tent a bit more stability. Also it just pulls out the fly sheet and gives you that bit more space inside. So I'll peg out these as well. They're dead easy to stick on and just make sure there's a loop at the end for pegging them down. Right, so that was pretty easy. Got that up in minutes. I'll show you inside now. Right folks, you can see here I've got my Exped Sin mat in and I've got all this room here for my gear. I find this bit of room really useful. I'm a messy camper so I've always got loads of stuff lying here. So yeah, if you look down towards my feet there, there's another six inches there of room if you're a little bit taller than me. Or you can put gear there. If you look above my head. You've got room here between the mat as well. So there is plenty of room in this tent. So here's just a little preview of inside the tent without me in it, just the mat just to give you an idea of the room that you've got there.
in a very similar fashion to the Six Moons Designs Lunar Solo. This door also rolls up. And that is just really nice for one of these lovely summer nights where you might just want to keep the tent well ventilated. You can even sleep like that if it's going to be dry. If you're watching this and thinking, this tent's no good to me, I don't use a trekking pole, there is one other option. And it is this foldable carbon rod, which you can buy off AliExpress as well. This is actually the Six Moons Designs one, but they're all the same length, 125 centimetres long. What we'll do is I'll pop this in and I'll show you. Right folks, that's the carbon rod in. I don't know if you can see in the camera, but there's already a slight curve there. I've had to slightly loosen off those guy lines just to compensate for that. Pull them too tight, that bends even more. If it's windy, this really flexes bad. It's not got the same dexterity as a trekking pole, so I would only use these in very light winds. Plus, if you tighten the, um, the guy lines, what you'll tend to find is the pole starts sinking into the soft earth. So you might want to use a lid from, I don't know, like a deodorant bottle or something like that, just so it doesn't sink in quite as much. If you want your Lanshan Pro 1 waterproof, you will have to seam seal it, and they actually give you a little syringe to do it. So what I did is I put the sill net into the syringe, and I just spread it down, doing about 3-4 inches at a time, and then I would just work it in with my finger, and then I would do another 4-5 inches, and I just work my way down, the seam here. You can see there as well, I've done around the stitching here, over the top, because the last thing you want is water dripping through. And then you do the other four sides as well. So you would do this one here. This one. And last but not least, this one here. So it gives you the four seams to do. I did go a little bit mental, end up doing all these and along here as well, but that's not necessary. I just went a little bit OTT, so just those four sides. Once the silicone had dried, the next skin day, I just sprinkled some talcum powder over this, and it means it doesn't stick to itself when you're storing it away, and it just uh, makes it a little bit easier. Well, I guess that leads to the question, should you buy a Lanshan Pro 1 for UK World Camping? And I'm going to say yes. Now, there is some caveats. I've noticed a couple little quality issues with the stitching that might come away to somewhere, somewhere down the line. But I think you've got to remember that they're cheap tents. They're not going to be sewn to the same standard as somebody like um, Henry Shires or Mountain Laurel Designs. They are copies. So maybe if you've got loads of money, you could buy the copy. It's, you could buy the tent that's trying to copy. But otherwise, if you're on a budget, why not? For £130, you're getting a sub one kilogram tent. It's more spacious than a normal Lanshan. It's very easy to pitch because there's no inner. It's not a lot not to like about it, to be honest. So yeah, by all means go for it. I like it. I'll use it for summit camps in the summer, autumn and spring. I've had this down to minus three degrees as well, and it was absolutely fine. Don't use the carbon rod in windy conditions. You are better of a trekking pole. But there you have it. It's a cracking little tent for the money. So. That's it, I'm going to wrap up the video. If you find this useful, please give me the thumbs up. Any questions, chuck a comment down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.